Okay, Capricorn, original Capricorn, January 19th to February 15th, number seven, the goat, Saturday, garnet, spleen, adrenals, amethyst, lead, tiger's eye, and Saturn. What do we got for that? Number seven. So that would be the whole word Capricorn, each of the numbers for each letter, and then reduced to one number. So we got seven. So I know, or crown chakra, thought, and the... Um, the note, like on a key, for B. And then for what you would chant, Om. Om. Not Om. Om. A-U-M. 972 E-E. Uh, what else we got here? Number seven. Got two. Two fathers. Uh... You got Higher Heart and Earth Star. If you don't know what these are, you can look them up. Uh, what else we got? We also have Mental Body and emotionally, Emotional Body. And we got Endocrine Gland, Pineal Gland, Central Nervous System, Brain, Head, Personality, and Spirit. That would go with the Emotional and Mental. That makes sense. Definitely look into any of those if they resonate with you. Capricorn. What's up? Do you have like some sort of safety net or something that you're focusing on? Uh, page of Swords. Okay, maybe you started something new. You don't have to be too judgmental of yourself because other people are probably judgmental enough about you. And I don't think that's fair, in my personal opinion, because um, I've seen some very, very intelligent people be ridiculed, mocked, or made fun of because they chose not to speak. Because they chose to be quiet and within themselves, like reserved. Yeah, I would say reserved, that other people called them handicapped or they said that they were slow or they made fun of them in some sort of way. And... I personally do not think that's okay. And I think those people will be put in those situations where they're made to feel that fucking way. Um, hopefully, you don't have to worry about ever seeing that. Uh, Pagesaurus. Okay, so we got... <sighs> Vigilance. Agility, spying, discreet person, an active youth, a Lilith figure, a person adept at perceiving... Remember Lilith? If you know anything about mythology or any of the stories, bridge, bridge, bridge. If you know any of the stories, a person adept at perceiving, discerning, and uncovering the unknown, or which is less than obvious, insight. You could be like, you could in your own right deem yourself as like a detective. You could be a detective in this line of work, um, whether it's spiritually or physically. Maybe you're starting to see things around you and pick up on certain things. Uh, you could be very young and just getting into this stuff and just learning. Uh, hopefully you can get a heads up, if not from me, from other people in the spiritual community, okay? Because I ain't no fucking professional. I do the best I can to give the messages that I can, but um, if you like it, you like it. If not, that's okay. I still hope you learn though. Because I don't think it's fair for anybody to be in a state of not knowing in the dark. Uh, this is actually one of those first cards. Okay? You know the cover cards when you get a new deck? He's got an owl there behind him. Remember they used to be used uh, for... Not just for having a pet, but they used them for traveling information sending messages uh he's got an ink pot with three feathers in it maybe you're into calligraphy or you're a writer he's got a blue ball with yellow stars on it almost looks like he's meditating sitting in his chair he's got a feather in his hand as well so he's got a quill i think they call them quills he's sitting in his solitude he's got an entire palace behind him there but it doesn't look like he's part of the palace he's just kind of sitting at the window <sighs> maybe you're doing some introspection some self-accountability reflection you're in deep thought you might be going through your dark night feels heavy 
uh, got a card for the entire collective, Alliance. So it could be coming up that you could be having somebody in Alliance, Hera, number 21, which is three. Good catch. Um, you could be a descendant of royalty. Uh, I don't know if that was supposed to come upside down or right side up, but you got the six of clubs. Generally, that means um, odds surmounted or things overcome. And anything that you're currently going through, like a death and a rebirth, don't worry about that because that usually doesn't mean the end of everything, okay? It doesn't mean the end of the world. You remember us teenagers? I don't know about you, but they used to tell teenagers like it's not the end of the world. If something goes wrong and they're reacting emotionally, like dramatically, <laughs> like freaking out and stuff like that, they say, well, it's not the end of the world, but to a person in that state of mind, usually felt like it. Okay, yeah. Conquest, triumph, good news, advancement, expectation, desires, realize, and a result of efforts. Maybe the shadow work that you're putting in is going to pay off. You've learned quite a bit. I actually want to see what you're tapped into Capricorn for your past life cards. She woke up. She woke up. He woke up. Greco-Roman. You could have ties. Way, way, way back. Or maybe you're just a Third generation. Third generation. Uh, foundations crumbling. So maybe the old foundations making way for new. Um, the Roman Empire is not known for being too pleasant when it comes to the game of life. <laughs> The Greeks were a little bit more philosophical. They were a little bit more involved with the human condition and learning. So if you got a balance of both, that's good. <laughs> one that's got a heart and one that doesn't. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Ooh, health. This could be ties that go all the way back. Uh, cause one of the cards is a healer, but this one's health itself. If you have the ability to manifest for another person or yourself, we all have the ability to do so. But if you are starting to notice that you have an impact on other people's health, be very careful of that. Okay. You might be very powerful. Uh, if you're, and that pops up again, Greco-Roman. If you are noticing that your own health is declining for whatever reason, I'm not a doctor. Not that serious. Whether it be physical or mental, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Okay. It may just be emotional. That can develop into health issues. Okay. This came out. It could be a reoccurring cycle. Uh, so from what was passed from great-grandfather to grandfather to father to now child. And maybe that child is now grown up. You too could have roots. Celtic ties. That might be... Excuse me. That might be very interesting for you to get into, Capricorn. That might be something you want to look into. If you can't focus on the healing, the wound, whether it be mother or father issues, this one says father, then at least focus on your, your background, what your family tree has to offer you, what is passed down, because you could have, your whole bloodline could have had battles you knew nothing about. And then you get all this karma and you're like, what am I, why am I in this situation right now? Yes, we're healthy cannibal for our, um, the decisions we make, but at the same time, whatever position we're put in could very well be what's passed down to us that we have to learn because our ancestors couldn't do it. They're not here anymore. Who's here? Who's standing? Who's alive right now? Technically. 
say thank you to them. They went through a lot. Where'd that go? Okay, uh, what do we got? Capricorn. Cog. The tooth of a wheel, cogging to cog, to furnish with cogs, to trick, to deceive, to manipulate, dice unfairly, to cheat or to lie. If you've been doing any of the above, please stop doing so. You're only lying to yourself. And then you'll trick yourself out of what you're actually meant to do, which is your life purpose. If you've been deceived by other people, just know that they're probably very hurt individuals themselves, especially if it's like a father figure that hasn't got his shit together. And I don't mean like in the 3D physical world, I mean like spiritually or just any of the turmoil he's going through within himself, what's been passed down to him, what he had to learn. So if he passed that shit to you and you haven't figured it out yet, it may feel like you're just a cog in the system. Don't, don't count yourself out just yet. Uh, insular, pertaining to an island, forming an island, narrow-minded. Like I said, if you are not able to focus on the healing, the wound of that, then at least focus on your past, what your family history is, and what you can learn out of that, okay? So maybe do one thing at a time. Um, because if you are closed-minded or narrow-minded, it's going to make it harder for the healing process, especially if you want to. Like, deep down, you know you want to heal, but it's making it hard for yourself. That would be the ego. It's just to keep you safe, but you're not in any danger. Not technically, unless you're not worried about your health. Um, and then an island forming. An island. You could be forming a fucking island of yourself. That's you in a bubble, and nobody else is around you. Which is technically hermit mode. If you're a good singer, sing. Tentative, experimental, and uh, empirical, an essay, a trial. Maybe you're going through your trials right now. If you don't know what that means, you can look it up. Spiritually, we all have lessons to go through as well and trials and tribulations. So that means that whatever you've done in the past, you have to kind of like learn from and the karma and go through that we all have to do it what else we want uh one love card for capricorn feel scatterbrained like i can't focus date it's up to you if you're not in a good state of mind do you really want to go on a date right now if you feel that that's going to cheer you up a little bit and maybe you can get your mind going, kind of like spark conversations good with other people, um, not necessarily feeding off their energy, but you can bounce back and forth, maybe ideas, maybe conversation, a good, deep, solid, in, informative conversation might help you, maybe even advice they throw out. Meet someone new, dating, get back out there, plan or set a date. If you're not ready to do so, then don't. But if you are, then I definitely advise you to at least try. You can. What else, Capricorn? Positive. Uh, seduction. Careful. There's love and lust, right? Have respect for yourself first. Uh, somebody could be seducing you, either at work. Um, attraction. Flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, interference. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You're a grown-ass adult. But if somebody is flirting with you, if you're a dude, fucking go for it. If you're a chick, go for it. But just make sure you're careful. Um, if it's third party interference, let's say you like somebody and somebody's getting involved or getting in the way, tell them to go fuck themselves. If you're worried about being tempted, that's, that's all you. It's just something that has to heal. If you feel lost, like a lost little puppy dog, you're following around somebody because you just, you're codependent on like having your head pat <laughs> or you just want the love, then that's codependency. That's also something to heal. It's like a positive reinforcement. Have trust and faith. Okay. Uh, we'll get a couple more. Some of these videos were like 15. I'm trying to go a little bit longer, not to, but not to take too long. Um... Uh, Oh, this has a lot to do with your throat chakra. Decorum. Okay. Propi propriety of speech or behavior. 
seamlessness. So maybe that's something you have to work on is speaking up for yourself, saying what you need to say. Very important. Um, especially if people hadn't taken you seriously. <laughs> and then we got the Ace of Clubs. If you like somebody, go for it, man. We got that wand, that club. All right, hopefully that helps. <laughs>